Now we're going to get a bit fruity. It's science on six. We all love bananas. Easy to peel, easy to eat, soft and sweet. They're one of nature's bountiful gifts. These days they're cheap and plentiful, but there is a common myth about them, and that's what we're going to investigate. To help us uncover the truth, we're going to need the help of Professor Maisie and her assistant Tia. But first, let's ask the public what they think. Um, do, do you like bananas? I, I love bananas. I have them with my muesli every morning. May I ask where you keep your bananas normally? Uh, in the fruit bowl with all the other fruit. Right. Do you find they keep well there or do you have to throw them away sometimes? Occasionally in the summer they, they do go off. Mm. Um, mm. Do you ever find that they go a bit too ripe and you have to throw them away? Yes, I do, unfortunately. Yes. That's a problem. Mm. Do you find that you have to throw them away sometimes? Yes, I do occasionally. So would you be interested to know how you could store your bananas better? Yes, that would be useful. Okay, good. Hello, Professor. Hello. How are you going to conduct this experiment for us? We're going to store some fresh bananas in four different places a fruit bowl, a cold place in the cellar, a fridge and a freezer. Then we'll test a sample every few days to see how well they keep. And how are you going to measure your findings? We'll rate the bananas on a simple scale 1 to 5, where 1 is hard and green, 3 is soft and ready to eat, and 5 is mushy and overripe. I see. Thank you, Professor. or look up item. Quantity needed. Unexpected item in bagging area. Insert cash or select. Please take your change. I'm selecting 14 bananas that look the same and labelling them with their location. Three for the fruit bowl, three for the cellar, three for the fridge, three for the freezer and a couple left over. I'm going to test them as a starting point. My assistant Tia will help me. So, let's cut it in half. Okay. Yes. I think it's the same as Maisie's, a two. I'm just recording our results. Two and two. It's day eight and I've taken a sample from each place to test. First, I'm going to let them all come up to room temperature. Then we'll try them. Ew! Ew! I think it's a five. Definitely. Yeah. It's now day 15 and we're testing more samples. This one from the fridge doesn't look too good, but let's try it. There you go, Tia. Mmm. That is very nice. I think that's a three. Can you show us your results, Professor? Yes, they're quite interesting. Let's look at the chart. First of all, it's a bad idea to freeze bananas, they go all black, and once thawed out, they are a mushy mess inside. But otherwise, the cooler you keep them, the better they last. In the fruit bowl, they last a few days. In the cellar, they last a week. But in the fridge, they stay good for more than two weeks, even though the skins turn brown. So if you want to keep your bananas fresh, it's best to keep them in the fridge. 
and not to worry if the skins go brown, because the fruit inside will still be fine. Any other conclusions, Professor? Yes, it's clear that your natural instincts aren't always right. Most people that we talk to thought that putting bananas in the fridge was a bad idea, but actually it's the best way to store them. It just shows that we should use science to find the truth about things. Asking questions and doing experiments is the best way to learn about the world we live in and how it works. If we can't do our own experiments, then we should listen to the scientists who spend their lives thinking and investigating the wonderful world around us. Thank you, Professor. I'm sure you've convinced some of our viewers about the value of science, and especially how to store their bananas. Next time we take a close look at jelly beans. Are they good for you or not?